Hey and welcome to this uh, mini webcast where I just want to take uh, one or two minutes to show you uh, how we upgraded from ext.js 5 to ext.js 6. And uh, as I'm sure you know, ext 5.1.0 is what we're using right now for our Siesta 3.x branch. You can see here in the Siesta example page we're using 5.1.0 and it renders just fine and it works. Uh, it's been doing so for quite a while. And now it's time to upgrade to 6 and it was actually super easy this time. Uh, so we basically just replaced the CSS, replace, uh, replace the, uh, the script include, refresh the page and we're good to go. There's no change. Everything seems to be running just fine. Show the sources, hide the bugs, expector, recorder. And you can see here that we can just uh, run the test like any other, just use the features that we're used to and everything uh, just works. And the main reason for this being very simple is of course, first of all, that uh, Sentry did a nice job on keeping the API backwards compatible from five to six. Uh, we haven't found uh, any major changes uh, that we need to make at all in our source code. And also uh, we've tried very hard in the past versions to avoid using private overrides. So we don't rely on, on internal or private code coming from the XJS sources. And this is really the key to making the upgrade as simple as possible. So we hope that this, uh, this little uh, uh, demo will, will uh, instill good hope and uh, make you want to upgrade uh, your app from 4 to 5 or from 5 to 6. But for us it was, uh, was really easy and uh, maybe Siesta is not the most advanced application out there, but uh, it certainly has a, a good number of, uh, of screens and, and some complex logic hidden uh, under the hood. So uh, it worked very well for us. So thanks for watching.